Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another video. As always, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated on all my future content. So Season 2, Episode 8 of the Mr. Camilleri Show is going to focus on subtraction. One digit subtraction. DJ, drop a beat for the learning target of the day. The learning target of the day for Season 2, Episode 8, is I can subtract one-digit numbers. Success criteria, correctly solve 10 one-digit subtraction problems. So if you're a beginner when it comes to adding and subtracting one-digit numbers, examples 1 to 5 are for you. I'm going to show you how to subtract one-digit numbers if you're not at the point where you're able to subtract the numbers in your head. Let's get into it. So example number one, four minus two. If you're not at the point where you can subtract these numbers in your head, what you can do is you can draw four circles and then cross two of them out. So I'm gonna draw four total circles. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna cross two circles out. One, two, and then I'm gonna count how many circles are left? I'm gonna count how many circles are not crossed out. So there are one, two circles not crossed out. So our answer is two. Four minus two equals two. Example number two, nine minus five. So again, if you're not able to subtract these numbers in your head, you can draw nine total circles, cross out five of them and count how many are left. So that's what I'm going to model. I'm going to draw nine circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now I'm going to cross out five of those nine circles. One, two, three, four, five. So I just made nine circles. I crossed out five of them. And now I'm going to count how many are left. I'm going to count how many circles are not crossed out. So looking over here, I have one, two, three, four circles not crossed out. So nine minus five equals four. Five minus one. So for this problem, I'm going to make five circles. I'm going to cross out one circle. Then I'm going to count how many circles are left. So here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. So I have five total circles. Now I'm going to cross one circle out. One is crossed out. Now I'm going to count how many are left. I'm going to count how many circles are left not crossed out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So there are four circles left not crossed out. We have our answer, five minus one equals four. Example number four, eight minus two. So I'm gonna make eight total circles, and then I'm gonna cross out two of the eight circles and count how many are left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to cross out two of those eight circles. So that's one, two. So now I'm going to count how many circles are left, how many circles are not crossed out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six circles are left, not crossed out. Eight minus two equals six. Example number five, nine minus eight. So I'm gonna make nine total circles and I'm gonna cross out eight of them. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I have to cross out, <clears throat> now I gotta cross out eight out of those nine circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I just crossed out eight out of the nine circles. I'm gonna count how many circles are not crossed out. Looking here, there's only one circle that's not crossed out. And we have our final answer. Nine minus eight equals one. So for example, numbers six to 10, I am now gonna show you how to subtract one digit numbers with fluency. So as I just demonstrated, if you're not yet at the point where you can subtract one digit numbers in your head, it is still possible to solve these problems with 100% accuracy. You can use manipulatives or you can use the picture strategy that I just demonstrated with the last five problems. But ultimately, the goal is to be fluent as quick as possible. So I, I would definitely recommend 10 minutes a night on flashcards. If you, if you do subtraction flashcards for 10 minutes a night over the course of a month, that will go a long way. Even doing it over the course of a week, two weeks, like it will really build up that fluency. And the ultimate goal is to get fluent with one digit subtraction as quickly as possible. And this is what that looks like. 9 minus 4 equals 5. 7 minus 6 equals 1. 5 minus 3 equals 2. 4 minus 0 equals 4. 6 minus 1 equals 5. If you can get to the point where you're that fluent with your one digit subtraction, it makes two digit subtraction and three digit subtraction a lot easier. What you're doing here is you're building the foundation. If you build a strong foundation, it makes it a lot easier to build a house. But that is my video for today. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you thought of the video. And if there is an area of math or reading that you're having difficulty with, put that in the comments and I'll do a future video on that skill. Until next time, this is Mr. Camilleri signing off. And remember, if you want to watch episodes of the Mr. Camilleri Show, they will be premiering on YouTube every Thursday at 7, 6 central. And they are currently streaming on Rumble. Have a great day, everybody.